Manini plugin uh, is a tool to uh, run the inference of uh, three types of deep learning models, uh, segmentation model, a classification model, and a detection model. You can uh, install it in uh, two ways. The first way, uh, you can uh, install it uh, in the built-in. The second way is the pipe install uh, techniques where you uh, go to your uh, terminal in your computer and you write pipe install manini and you run this command. The manini plugin have uh, four buttons. The free, uh, first button is to uh, import your uh, model, your image and your class. And the second is a run button where you uh, run the inference of your um, model and image. So uh, when you click one of the them, I mean the uh, image segmentation or the classification or the det detection tool, you will find uh, this window. So this window, uh, it is to import your data. So there is a, there are three uh, type of data. I mean image, model, or class. For the image, the uh, plugin want compressed file, where you store all your images in it. For the model, at the moment, the plugin uh, accept only a Keras model TensorFlow, and and the class, uh, it is a text file where you. Uh, specify uh, the name of each class of your model. Uh, I want to precise to you that the image that you uh, put as an input for your model is plugin uh, accept uh, to the image, uh, 3D images or more. So that's all for the input. And when you import your data, you can uh, click OK and click run to run the inference. So imagine you want to, uh, to make a segmentation of bacteria, for example. So you can uh, make some correction by use the uh, uh, different pencils uh, at uh, the bottom at your right. So you can brush it, you can add the one class, two class, or the third class. So when you want to classify an image, at the bottom, you can see a table where you can uh, find the uh, result of the classification uh, prediction. And for uh, object det detection tool, you, you can uh, collect it uh, by add some bounding box uh, image or remove it. Uh, I want to precise to you that uh, the model uh, that ran in the uh, uh, object detection task is a YOLO uh, model here in a TensorFlow. So now we can go to the practical session. So uh, first I begin to uh, uh, run Napali. Here I have Manini, I have two widgets. The first is for model inference and the second, the exportation of the result. So here I can find uh, four buttons. First, uh, the first uh, three is uh, for uh, the uh, deep learning uh, model. And the next is here at the last. It is the run button to run the inference. So let's start for the segmentation. In segmentation, I have uh, three empty uh, box. So uh, let's import the image here. So I remind you that uh, the image that you import must be into compressed file. And for the model, uh, I can find it here. So here it is optional, so uh, it's not mandatory. So I click OK and I run it. You can by click here at the some uh, pencil, uh, add some uh, pixel from here. So I can do it like this, for example. I can erase uh, some annotation like this. So I can collect the others, uh, the other uh, image, like this. 
when a collection is satisfied, I can import it into my computer. So I run. So here uh, I have another widget. The first is for the mask. So I, I select the mask here, mask one, mask one. And the second is the LGB uh, image. I save it somewhere in my computer. So here I have the result. So here it is only a demonstration of a TensorFlow model that our team developed. So you can use others uh, model. For example, you can find uh, the model uh, into view image zoo. So I can uh, test uh, one uh, model, for example, for the bacteria detection. So I click here, I download it uh, yeah, because I want a TensorFlow model. So the download is done, so I can find uh, so the element that we are interested in is this uh, compressed file tf underscore weight point c. So I double click here. So I extract it into a folder, create, and I extract in it. So I can close, close. So I can use it in uh, the uh, Manini plugin. So file, Manini demo, segmentation, and images here so i import it and for the model so i need to precise you so the, the model it is a folder yeah it is a folder and the important element is for are four uh, elements so we need to import only the folder so here i import it by wrote uh, the path here so I click OK and I run the image segmentation. So, so the result is here. Um, so I need to remove uh, the last segmentation here. So here it is uh, the result of the segmentation of a bacteria. So you can see the color of the uh, class here, the blue, the brown. So the user can uh, use uh, some pencil here of class. So if you want to add, uh, if you want to add uh, the pencil uh, blue, for example, you can do it like this, or the free. You can make some correction, and you can. Uh, erase uh, some region of the image. So here it is the uh, end of the demo for the image segmentation tool. So let's start uh, the uh, classification tool. So for the classification, we can click here and import the image. So here, and I import the model too. So uh, I need here, it is mandatory uh, the class for the model. So here, classification and two more class. I open it, click OK, and I run the inference. So the result is here. So I remove the and this widget. So I have uh, here a result of the classification for this image. So this button uh, display you three uh, elements. The first is this, the image. At your right here, you can find a menu uh, where all your image will be uh, displayed. Uh, at the bottom, you can find uh, the uh, table where uh, in the first column, it is the name of the image. So train glioma zero, train glioma zero, yeah. The second uh, column, it is the uh, class uh, predicted for the image. So, so if you are not satisfied for this prediction, you can uh, change it. So as uh, no tumor here or glioma. 
And at the uh, last column, the third column, it is the probability associated to the prediction. So, so when uh, the uh, result of the uh, prediction is fine for you, you can save it in your computer. So it is a classification result. I save it, my result. So in, uh, I find first the first column, it is the name of the image, the last. It is uh, the prediction class, classification demonstration is done. So we can to the next part, the object detection. So I remove it here and I go here, object detection. So I input the image, image, this image, and I import the model, detection and model. So I remind you, um, so, and the algorithm uh, that the Manini plugin accepted, it is a YOLO uh, algorithm. So here it is the YOLO V4. So here it is the result of the object detection. So the image that we, uh, we process it, it is this image of a cell. And the objective it is it was to detect uh, the cell. So we can see that uh, the uh, algorithm uh, doesn't work well. So we can collect it. So I click here the results and I click this button to erase some bounding box here. And if I want to uh, add a bounding box here, I can, like, for example, Premiere here. Imagine that the uh, result of the detection is good. It, you can import the uh, result. So you specify here the uh, bounding box here and the image, so image one here. So you can save it into a composite file and you can find the result here. So we have the bounding box, I mean, a table where you can find for each uh, for each row the coordinate of a bounding box and its class uh, associated. So uh, we uh, saw a demonstration of the Manini plugin, so we can make uh, some inference of different uh, images included into a composite file. Uh, the model that you uh, specify in uh, the Manini plugin. It is at the moment a Keras model, but uh, for Outlook, we can uh, add more model, for example, a PyTorch model of Elastic. So uh, we can complete uh, uh, the plugin to be uh, very uh, useful for uh, the scientific community. Thank you for your attention.